Hi, my name is Dr. Benjamin Prince, and I am an allergist immunologist at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about when to consider uh, starting uh, immunoglobulin replacement therapy. So before we go there, I want to talk to you just a little bit about what immunoglobulin replacement therapy is. Immunoglobulin replacement therapy is something that's been around since about the 1950s and is actually pooled antibody from various healthy individuals around the world that's then screened, purified, and given to patients that have antibody deficiencies. Antibodies are actually specialized proteins that are really important for your immune system to function, specifically the part of your immune system that's called your adaptive immune system. They're actually made by cells called B cells, and they help identify invading pathogens, bacteria, viruses, fungi, and help other parts of your immune system clear those pathogens more effectively. They're also the protein and the part of your immune system that we take advantage of when we're administering vaccinations to both children and adults. And they're very, very important in protecting us from diseases. In patients that have antibody deficiency, they typically present with recurrent or severe sinopulmonary diseases. So these would be recurrent sinus infections, ear infections, recurrent pneumonias. They can also get blood infections, tissue and bone infections, and even suffer from certain kinds of severe diarrheas. If your doctor suspects that you may have an antibody deficiency, they will likely send you to be evaluated by a specialist, specifically an allergist immunologist, who will take a detailed history of the kinds of infections that you've had previously. And if they think that you may have an antibody deficiency, they will send typically blood testing, looking at the various classes of antibodies that you make, as well as the quality of that antibody. They may also look at the cells that we previously discussed called B cells and characterize those cells to see if there might be any issues with the different populations that you make. In patients that have either low antibody levels or that have poor function, assessed by responses to various vaccines, your doctor may prescribe an antibody replacement therapy or immunoglobulin replacement. There's a couple different ways that the immunoglobulin replacement can be administered. Historically, we often would give it intravenously, either in the hospital or an infusion setting. But more recently, other uh, therapies that are used to administer it subcutaneously have been used that make the replacement much more convenient and can occur in the confines of your own home. Immunoglobulin replacement therapy is a therapy that has really revolutionized the treatment of patients that have antibody deficiencies or other combined immune deficiencies. It's well tolerated and can help protect them from infections that otherwise they would succumb to. If you're concerned about a primary immune deficiency or a primary antibody immune deficiency, or if you want more information, I would encourage you to seek counsel from an allergist immunologist or visit the Quad AI website or other websites that have lots of detailed information about immune deficiencies, such as the Immune Deficiency Foundation. Thank you for your time.